Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today I have a review. Uh, now, the Liverpool preview I completely forgot to do. It wasn't until yesterday that I realised. Um, uh, I'm using my flashlight because it's dark in here. And yeah, um, but my original prediction for this video was 2 0 Liverpool uh, because Anfield. Um, but yeah, didn't happen. Yeah, my God, am I glad? So the game. Two minutes and fifty-one seconds it took for Salah to score, and then I was shitting it. Uh, they just kept on attacking and attacking and attacking, and it wasn't what I wanted. It was what I expected, not what I wanted. Uh, but around a twenty-minute mark, we grew into the game slightly. Uh, kept on going, managed to fly a few passes together, but there was one thing wrong, and. Uh, Daily Ali was playing on the left and it just didn't work. Um, and going into half time, it was still like that same strategy that was from the get go. And going into half time at 1 0 down, down at Anfield isn't a good thing, especially when you're a Spurs side that can't play away against the top six. Um, second half, no changes, what I expected. Uh, the team that made the mistake has to recover it. And we did. Uh, second half, if it was just the second half that a game was contested, we should have won that game. Uh, we was all over in possession, attempts, corners, anything, you match it. We absolutely dominated them that second half. Um, and, well, <laughs> this happened. My fucking god, what a guy it was. Victor Wanyama. The Kenyan beast. What a hit. What a shot. That is the best goal that I have ever seen. Uh, watching on telly. Uh, not in real life. Best goal I've seen in real life is Deli Ali's goal against France. But the best goal I have seen has to be that goal. It was an absolute rocket. It hit the roof of the net. And I was eating a curry and rice came through my nose. Um, so yeah, but... After that, we well, we had a penalty. Um, I think Kane dived. Um, it wasn't offside because two Liverpool players touched it, um, but Kane did dive. And to be fair, the, the penalty was shit anyway. So uh, at one all, I think that was a fair result. And then Salah scored again, and uh, yeah, two one down. Didn't deserve it. Didn't deserve to lose the game at that point in the 91st minute. Um, and I just wasn't happy. It wasn't a very happy Aaron. It wasn't a very happy Tottenham fan. And at 2-1, I didn't want that result. Because top four was gone. We needed a draw. There. At Anfield. And uh, we got it. So, for our second goal. Lamella is hit, kicked in the back by Van Dijk, I think it was on Matip, one of them, and um, it was a penalty, that one was a penalty, and Kane stepped up and scored his 100th goal in the Premier League, so Harry is on 100 goals, man of the match for me has to go to Dembele, he controlled the game, he was so cool, shittest player of the game, Sanchez, why does he always play it back, my dad pointed it out, not me, he always plays the ball back, um, but you know, looking forward, it is good. Hopefully, Watford can uh, get Chelsea to drop two points, and then we're only a point, no, two points behind them and Liverpool, which would be good. Three points behind Liverpool. I don't know. Uh, but top four is looking quite likely. If Chelsea dip, us and Liverpool can get it. Um, but yeah, we need to beat Arsenal next week. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm a happy Tottenham fan going away to a top six side and picking up a draw, especially at Anfield, is the game that I dread every year more than away at Arsenal. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. The next video will be a new port vlog on Thursday and then Friday or Sat. Well, yeah, Thursday or Friday. There is the Arsenal preview. I'll make sure I do that. 
and then on Saturday is the Arsenal vlog. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Don't comment. Comment if you want. Um, but yeah, until next time, goodbye. Come on, you Spurs.